Hi, I'd like to talk to you about this step up and step down voltage transformer. Basically what it does is it converts voltage from 110 to 220 or from 220 to 110. So first of all, step up. Uh, imagine that you're in the US or Canada, somewhere like that, and you want to power something from the UK or Europe. You would need to step the voltage there, which is 110, 120, up to 220, so that you could power the European equipment. If you're in Europe or UK, and you want to power something from the US, say, then you would step our voltage, our 220 volt voltage, down to 110. There are two sockets on the front here. There's a universal socket, which will always output 220, and there's a US style socket, which will output 110. If you're, say, in the UK, and you are using it to power something from the US, you can plug something from the UK into this socket if you want to, because it's still outputting 220. On the back of the converter, there's an input voltage selector jumper switch. This is input, not output. Some people get confused. Very simple little switch. And you can see there are four holes for 240 volts, 220, 200 and 110. So, the moment I'm in the UK, so I would leave it selected at, at 240. If I went to the US and I wanted to power something from here, I just move that down to 110. Also on the back there's a fuse holder. This contains a 5 amp, in this case, slow blow glass fuse. You get two spares with each one of these. There's also an IEC socket there. It's the same kind of socket that you get on the back of PCs and it's for power. The reason we have an IEC socket on these is so that we can sell them into other territories. So um, I'm in the UK as I keep saying. Here, if you bought one here, we'd supply it with this kind of plug, the UK plug. If you were in uh, another European country where they use a two-pin Shuko plug, then that's what we'd sell you. Equally, we don't have them, but um, if you take it to America and you get hold of a, an American IEC um, plug, then you can, you can use that there as well. So what about the 500-ness of it? Well, this particular one, ST500, means it can handle um, appliances up to 500 watts. 500 watts is its maximum. That's really a bit like the top speed on a car. So if you've got an appliance that's 490 watts and you want to run it for three hours at a time, this is not a good voltage converter for you. You need to go higher still so that the voltage converter is under no strain. I mean, if you want to run 490 watts for a few minutes, this is fine. But um, really, you'd be looking at doubling or perhaps even trebling the running wattage for um, a, something that you wanted to use for quite a long period of time. So it's a very simple device. On-off switch. And they come in various sizes. There's ST300 right up to 3000. But they're all basically the same. Thanks for watching.